Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Tonight I'm doing a traditional soup recipe from Scotland called Cullen Skink. Now I know Cullen is in Scotland, I just happen to know that somehow. I don't know, I don't know, but I know that, okay? But skink, I don't even know what that word means. So if you know what it means, get in touch and tell me, okay? Now this was uh, suggested to me by my good friend on Twitter, Squashy Pigeon, aka Paul. So hi Paul, thanks for this one. Um, the ingredients are nice and cheap. Um, it looks kind of easy, we just chuck it all in a pan and uh, it should be quite a nice strong taste to it. On brilliant warmer for these cold wintry nights so let's look at the ingredients and get it going my friends it's going to be easy it's going to be easy it's going to be fun okay so i've got a haddock fillet there just one on its own nice big one with the skin still on uh, remember you can get them white and yellow don't want a yellow one my friends just nice white plain one straight out of the sea okay so if you've got a sea near you and you're good at catching haddock get it straight out there okay uh-huh um two potatoes they're about 400 grams worth there an onion pepper also some salt as well but i haven't got the meal out for that yet a pint of milk and a big bunch of parsley. And that's all just really going to go into that saucepan there and all cook together and all be happy and just, you know, be lush. It's not going to take too much time. I'm going to just have some bread and butter on the side with it as well. So just, you know, all open there, you know, not hiding anything. That is everything we need, my friends. So without further ado, I'm literally just going to go straight in on these ingredients now and we are going to cube the potatoes and chop the onion and finally chop our parsley as well. So let's do that. Great, so I've peeled and cubed my potatoes. Take a look at this, nice and cubed. Uh huh. If you don't know how to peel and cube a potatoes, guys, go back to other videos. You need to learn the basics here. Peel, cut them, wash them, wash your hands, ETC, ETC. Uh, same with the onions, we diced that. We don't know how to do that before. Parsley's all finely chopped as well. So the first thing we're going to do is grab our pan and get 25 grams of butter in there on the heat. And we'll start to cook up our onions on a low heat. We don't want to brown them, we just got to cook them through to seven to eight minutes and then we'll start to bring other stuff in with it. So let's get our pans. Whoa! Right here, so this pan is on the heat, cha-ching. I'm just gonna drop in my 25 grams of butter. Lush, so let that melt up, and then we'll shove our onions in any minute now, my friends. Cha-ching! Right here then, guys, my butter's all melted. Check this out. Ooh, okay, so I'm just gonna grab my onions, which I've now put into a bowl for convenience. Just gonna drop them in there, nice and easy. Remember, over low heat, cook them for seven to eight minutes till they all soften, not brown though. Then we're gonna bring in our milk, people. Right guys, we're about five minutes in, not sure if you can see, but this butter's really taken to these onions. It's kind of like a white man on a beach putting loads of suntan lotion all over him, you know, he's really getting stuck in there. So just keep going with that, and any minute now we're going to pour our milk in there, okay? So, yeah, that is looking good. It's quite a nice smell as well. Nice. Right here then guys, it's just about done, but just in the meantime, I had those spare couple of minutes, I grab my shot glasses and I put in my salt and pepper, huh? That's kind of cool. Shot glasses for pinches of salt and pepper are the way forward, my friends. Anyway, yeah, that's looking nice and done. It's smelling amazing. I'm loving this smell, guys. Grab yourself your milk. So there's a pint of milk going in there. Now this is full fat milk, okay? So the nice creamy stuff. None of this semi-skimmed or skim stuff. Although I normally have that on my breakfast for your reference. So let's pour that straight in there. I'll show you what this looks like in just a moment. Wicked, that's in there. Give it a stir. What we want to do now, let's just dig, make sure they're all in there. No escaping, guys. I see you. I see you hiding. Right, we want to bring this milk to the boil, and then we're going to add some of our potatoes in there. So uh, turn the heat up a little bit, guys. Like so. Do you hear that? That's the sound of cooking, baby. Right here then guys, I'm not sure if you can see where that milk is starting to bubble now. We don't want to over bubble it, otherwise it will foam up and it will go everywhere. It will be kind of crazy, like a scene from uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the old one from the 70s, where they're in that car and then the foam goes everywhere. I would have loved to have been there, but we don't want that in my kitchen, okay? So grab your potatoes, okay, and just plonk them in there, like so. Whee! That was kind of cool. Now what I want to do is simmer that for 20 minutes, and that's going to soften the uh, potatoes in that time. So uh, yeah, keep your heat nice and steady. Simmer those potatoes, baby. Right here then guys, that's been 20 minutes. Take a look, it's all bubbled away. Probably doesn't look too much more different to you, but those potatoes in there are cooked right through my friends. Nice and squidgy and soft and yummy. Grab your fish, cha-ching, drop it straight in the pan, like so. Straight in there. Get your spoon, make sure it's right in there. And what we're gonna do is cook this in the, in the milk for about four minutes and simmer it all up so it's cooked all through and then we're going to fish it out not literally with a fishing rod we're just going to pull it out with some tongs plonk it on a plate like that let it cool down for a little bit and then take the skin off and just put the fish bit of it back in i'll show you what we're going to do anyway but and ultimately our fish is in the pan there we just want to get the simmer back up on it and cook it away 
Right here then guys, it's actually been five minutes, five, 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 five minutes, and the fish, I have tried to avoid touching it because I don't want to damage it or flake away, and speaking of flakes, that's what we've got to do in a minute. So I'm going to fish this out now, hence the pun, fish, do you like that? I don't know. We're going to get some tongs, pull them out there, get it on that plate and leave it to cool down, okay? And when it does cool down, I'm going to hack it with a fork to get the bones and the skin off, we'll have nice fish flakes that are going to go straight back in there, okay? So guys, fish out your fish. Right, amazing, so my fish is out, and as I got my second tongue, it fell apart as I put it on the plate. Scary times. Now, if you can see the smoke coming off that, that is hot, my friends. So I'm gonna leave that. What I want you to do in the meantime, is obviously this is still in there on a low heat, grab a potato-style masher, and start to mash away sections of it, of your potato, just to ground it down and make it a little bit thicker, okay? You wanna mash them all up, just a teeny bit, mm-hmm. Brilliant, so I've done a little mashing session on there, and hopefully you can see it's thickened a little bit there. I'm just gonna grab my salt, just chuck that in there. And the pepper, cha -cha ching Oh, that looks kind of cool. Um, also, most of my parsley, I've left a little bit there, and I'll show you for what it's for in a bit. Sprinkle that in there. Stir that all in. Lovely jubbly. Nice. You can really see, see the thickness of that now that, that uh, parsley's in there, sort of highlighting it up. Cool. That's in there. So our fish is just on the side there, chilling out. Give it another couple of minutes to cool down, and then we'll start flaking it, put it back in, and we can serve it. Mm. Right guys, some simple maths for you. Fish that needs hacking up, fork to hack up, and spare pizza plate, I oh, know I'm running out of cutlery, equals this, my friends. That is what it equals, my friends, so loads of skin and nasty bits there, and nice flaky fish ready to go straight back in there. So without further ado, let's put that in there, give it a mix, ready to serve. Okay, so there's fish in there, see that? Let's stir it all in, guys. Wow, look at that texture, that looks amazing. So of course we can now add as much seasoning as we want, but for me, I've had a little taste and it is tasting good, my friends, and the fish is only gonna add to it. So it is good times in there. Let's grab ourselves a bowl, serve it up, and while it was simmering earlier as well, I got myself some bread and buttered it like that. So that is just heavily buttered. Just gonna dip it, dip it in there alongside it when we've had it done, so. Uh, so grab yourself a bowl and shove in a nice dollop of your Cullen skink. Fantastic, now add a little bit of parsley that you had left over on top. Gorgeous, and now if you're like me, you can just sit your bread right in the bowl with it. Woo! Boom, there we go then guys, absolutely gorgeous looking. Let me just grab my camera up here, so you can have a good look in the light again even more. Amazing, it smells beautiful. Now if you've got a recipe for me to try, get in touch like Paul has, and others in the past. If you need confidence or you want me to try it and be a guinea pig, I'm happy to do that. It's all about learning people, right? So if I can do that, Absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on, and I'll see you again next time. Cheers. Whoa, whoa, whoa guys, wait, wait, wait. Just one minute. I just want to show you. This is absolutely amazing. One of the best things I've ever made. So, so, so cheap as well. You have to try this. You have no excuse. So if you're watching this on the computer, there must be a 24-7 shop near you. Get off your butt, or your hiney, or your tush, whatever you want to call it. Go to those shops, buy these ingredients, and make it now. It will fill you up, it will warm you up, and you'll feel good about yourself. High five!